So, look, I've always had this mentality, and I, I, you know, I started life as an accountant, right? So, when I, I, I knew nothing about sales, I read, I read a one, I read the one minute salesperson book, which is a hundred years old, um, and it was super simple, and it, it changed my changed my view of sales that it's not something that you do to someone. Right, which is which is the the, the the scary and negative aspect of, of view of sales. It was how do you help someone get what they need, um, and if they don't need it, move on and find someone who does. So, so I uh, since I started my own business in recruitment back in the late nineties, I've always had to have and have had a, a sales first mentality. Which is if it's not for sales, everything else, everything else is academic. Right? It doesn't mean it's the only thing. But it should be the first thing that you're thinking about in the morning, particularly when you're growing the business, because you take your eye off that spinning plate for five seconds and suddenly you don't have enough sales coming in the door. And of course, there's time to build the pipeline and, you know, you're going to need 10 new prospects to get one or whatever your numbers are. Um, so so I just that's just what I constantly think about. I know what the numbers are in my head, what we're doing daily, weekly, monthly, um, and even when we were big, that was, that was the one set of numbers that I stayed across. I probably, there were other numbers that I didn't stay across that I probably should have. But um, so that's what it is, just getting up and thinking about that first thing in the morning, which means then you're going to ask questions, then you're going to, you know, you're going to talk to your sales manager first. You're going to track metrics first. You're just not going to let that ball slip. 